Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to convert your dB value to linear and how to convert it to impedance as well from your Libra VNA measurement result. So let's say now I'm measuring the antenna. Okay, so our my Libra VNA is connecting with an antenna. Okay, so we are measuring like 2.4 gigahertz. We can the marker here. So we get our 2.4 gigahertz, we get negative. 21.16 for our S11 in dB. Okay, and this one is our impedance. We can just right click it, change the format, let's say to dB. Okay, so we get right same as here. Then we also, I will show you how to calculate this one, the impedance, how I'm going to get the impedance value. And also to get the linear from here, we don't have the linear value here, but we can get it from assist. Here we change to magnitude to linear, then we click OK. Then you can see it's changed to magnitude linear now. Then we can just like the marker here like 2.40. This is the our value. But if we want to get the impedance in real high imagery part, okay, some of them is asking this. So if you want to get this, then you need to use the S11 in complex number. That means they have like real high and imagery. So I will show how to calculate this and to get the impedance in complex number as well. Same as how you get from here. Okay, the complex number. Alright, so first I will show you the calculation. You will have your F1 in complex number. That means it's your equation coefficient is equal to as the usual C is one a plus B, J, B, complex number, so it's equal to 0 0.08588, A for our case, minus with J, 0 0.01674. Okay, so this is our case. We can view from here. Right click, change the format to real part and imaginary part. Okay, so uh, you can have a look here. It's like they have a negative. Then we go for our calculation here. So now we know that our refraction coefficient is in complex number is this. In magnitude, so let's say we have like in magnitude will be something like for magnitude and for the phase. Okay. So we're going to calculate this. So let's say this is your refraction coefficient. And to get this in magnitude and phase, you can have like magnitude. Okay. Is equal to square root a power 2 plus b power 2 so we will have like 0 0.08588 power 2 plus v minus 0 0.01674 power 2 then square root then we will have like 7.655 then power of negative 3, then we will get 0 0.08749. Okay, this is in linear, and if in dB, then we will get like equal to 20 log 0 0.08749. Then we will have negative. 21.16 dB. Okay, so this is how we calculate for dB. Then I will show you something like you will right click here, then you can get your dB in negative 21.16 and how you're going to calculate your phase. So you can go to here. Then for phase will be tangent. Phase equal to imaginary part divided by the real part. So we will have negative 0 0.01674 it will be 0 0.08588 okay then we will have arc tangent okay here will be negative 0 0.1949 and here is like tangent phase and here is phase then we will have negative 11.03 in degree so when you use the calculator remember to use in degree okay 
Next, how we're going to calculate the impedance. So for the impedance, ZL, okay, so we know that ZL is equal to Z node bracket and then one plus weight refraction coefficient and one minus weight refraction coefficient. Okay, so this will be a big challenge. It's like 50 here. Okay, we know our Z is 50. Then one plus V zero point zero eight five eight eight minus V J zero point zero one six four seven six seven four. Okay. And here will be like one minus V zero point zero eight five eight eight minus minus V. J zero point zero one six seven four. Okay, so now we can get your ZL is equal to fifty bracket one point one eight seven minus V zero point zero four. Okay, three part. So we will have like times three fifty. Then we have like 59.358 minus V 2.002. Okay, this is our complex number for CL. Then we can double check, check it from here. So we have our phase and now we can check for our impedance. So we have like 59.358 minus 2.0029. And we can look back here. Yeah, we have like 59.358 minus V imaging part 2.002. So this is how you calculate your refraction coefficient in complex number and your, your S1 in dB and your phase and your impedance in complex number. And you also can double check from here. So if you want to calculate for VSWR here, right, you can just use the formula here. The formula for VSWR is VSWR equal to 1 plus V refraction coefficient divided by 1 minus refraction coefficient but is in modulus. Okay, Then you will have like 1.191. Okay, So here is our VSWR. So if you're curious way to get this one in modulus, you can refer to here. Here is the modulus result for your refraction coefficient. And you will calculate your VSWR is 1.191. Then we can refer back to the Libra VNA. So we can get like 1.191. Okay, this one is like the ratio to 1. So it's like 1.191 for your VSWR. So this is how you convert all the parameters here. Okay, so that's all. Thank you guys.